G'day guys, how's it going? Jim here with Red Trucks. Um, today's video is a New Arrivals, I believe it's New Arrivals episode 6. Not that it matters that much, but yeah, I think it's episode 6. So, let's take a look at what we got today. First up, I got this um, old Siku um, set. I've actually got this model already, this Unimog. Uh, I bought it separately, second hand. But uh, recently this um, set came up at a market and I thought I'll, I'll grab that because it's got the packaging is really good and it's got the trailer with it. So yeah, now I've got two of these. Uh, let's have a look at the packaging, what's on top. It's got all the features. Um, I actually paid, I only paid $10 for this. Uh, and I've looked them up online and they, I've seen one go for like 70 or 80 dollars um, I'm not sure what year this is from Yeah, I'm not sure if it'll tell us um, Yeah, it's not even in, in English So yeah, anyway, let's open it up have a look I do prefer the older Sikus to the more um, modern ones, the more recent ones. Just something about them. Um, I'm not a fan of the, the Siku logo on the rims, on the tyres though, I've got to admit. I'd rather they didn't have that writing, that Siku logo. But anyway, so yeah, let's get the trailer out. And let's get the model out. Oh, there is something in there, some plastic bits broken off it looks like. Let's see if I can find out where that went. So plastic bit, I can't see where that would come from. Maybe the, yeah most probably the trailer. Could be, is that little wheel thing? I think, yeah, I think that's where it came from. I think it, that fits on there somehow. Yeah, I think it, I think it went on like, something like that. Anyway, I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to play with these. I'm just going to, I'm not even bother getting a, a super glue out to fix it. <laughs> so yeah, let's take a look at the model. Um, like I said before, I've already got this model in, in mint condition as well, so now I've got two of them. I normally try to avoid getting doubles of models, uh, unless they're variations of course. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the base. Someone's put a sticker with the number 338. Um, what can it tell us? Looks like there's nothing on the base. Yeah, I wish manufacturers would put the scale and the name of the vehicle on the base. It's not asking for too much, is it? But anyway, we know it's a Unimog. So yeah, these, these um, the white lettering on these wheels, I'm not a big fan of. The rims themselves, they're not too bad. Um, this does have opening features. Got this little uh, yellow box. I, I showed um, I showed this model, not this particular model, but the same model on a another video. Um, I forget what video it was. Anyway, you can look it up in the playlist. This should have um, a spare hooks in it. Oh, one spare hook and a bit of um, rope. Not much rope. I don't know what the point of having a little bit of rope is. But yeah, a lot of the times. I've noticed on eBay when I've been reading um, reading reviews and things about these models. Um, oh, that's good. It slides in like that. See that? It lifts up and then slides in. So that's, that's a good feature. Yeah, I've been reading the reviews and a lot of the times these, um, these yellow boxes, these yellow toolboxes are missing. Which is understandable because you imagine kids playing with it and they misplace this yellow box with a spare hook. 
But I've been fortunate. Both my Unimogs have, have come with the uh, yellow toolbox. Um, there's another opening one at the back, I believe. Yeah, opens and pushes in. Shows you all the, um, I guess it's the pump apparatus or... Yeah, I think it'd be of a pumping system. Probably um, you can connect a, a hose on into a pump here and then that pumps it up through the, the water cannon or, or spray nozzle. So yeah, always good to get opening parts. Let's just pop that back in. And close the doors on it. So yeah, mint condition this thing. Um, it's got the, the winch on the front. I'm not going to pull that rope out because I don't want to wind it up again. But you can see the Mercedes logo in there. And it's got some writing, possibly it says Unimog. I'm not sure, I can't read that. It's got Unibol Unimog on the um, embossed in the um, hood. I wonder if the torch will help. Not really. Yeah, I can't see what that small white writing says. I think it's just one word. Anyway, a um, couple of little blue beacon lights on top. The interior is white. It's got a steering wheel on the left hand side. So I just try to get the right angle. Yeah, steering wheel on the left hand side. A uh, couple of bucket seats in the center console. So it looks like it only carry two crew members. Um, it's got these little side mirrors. That one's very loose. They're both very loose. <laughs> uh, it's got this metal metal water cannon, water spray nozzle on top which uh, rotates uh, 360 degrees, goes up and down. So that's good of it. That's made of metal. Uh, you've got step steps to get up into the cabin, another fuel tank. Got a ladder on the back to get to the roof to um, use the spray cannon. Spray nozzle or water cannon. <laughs> I'm mixing them up. Um, yeah, you've got a little tow hitch at the back be very hard to hook something up to that. Oh, we've got a trailer, we, we have to hook it up. Uh, nice big mud flaps. Something written on top, is that the number plate? Uh, not much in the way of light, light details on the rear. The front, the headlights are painted silver, which is good. Uh, once again, I've got the little McLaren to to show the difference in scale. Not that we know the scale of this, do we? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what scale it is. I mean, Unimogs are usually big trucks, but um, I don't think that's 164. So anyway, let's um, let's see the trailer now. So the trailer is plastic on top, this is all plastic, but this frame is metal. This little um, fifth wheel thing is plastic. Um, the wheels are similar to the Unimog. Now this extends just a little bit, oh, quite a bit, and this rotates. This is like um, emergency lighting for, a, um, you know, for fighting fire at night time, I guess, when um, they need floodlights, extra lighting. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's it's got a bit of weight to it, even though half of it's plastic. Probably more than half of it. But uh, let's see it hooked up to the Unimog. That is hard to get in there. Yeah, that's really difficult. I don't know what this, um, why it's got this top plastic bit. Because it makes, um, 
makes hitching up a, tra a trailer very difficult. Yeah, I don't know what the idea of that is. It's like it doesn't need that top bit of plastic there. Because this, um, the hook just won't go in. So that's, that's a bit disappointing. Anyway, I can just put it like that and it looks like it's sort of hook, hooked up until you try to move it. So yeah, I'll just put it like that. Okay, so that's that one out of the way. That was the Siku Unimog. Um, yeah, it really annoys me when I don't put the scale on these things. Alright, let's, um, or actually let's pause the video. I've got to get a knife, a sharp knife. Okay, I'm back. I've got the knife and I'm ready to do some slicing. Uh, let's open the small one first. Um, I believe this is a tiny Hong Kong fire truck. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's, um, let's take a look. I don't think I'll reuse this box so I can just rip it open. I can see some of those nasty noodles in there, I think. Yup. So that's how it's packaged. It's just a tiny little, I think it's a 187 scale um, Hong Kong fire truck. So, yeah. Some more noodles for my collection. Let's see if I can pull this little model out without releasing all those noodles and then I can put the noodles back in okay I'll put that to the side so here we have the model um, I believe this is quite a, a new model for tiny Hong Kong uh, it's a Mercedes-Benz Atigo it's from Macau Corpo de Bomberis that is a bit um, confusing to me because you know Macau is part of Asia but it's got Corpo de Bomberis which sounds Spanish interesting so there's the um, what do you call that hologram <laughs> number 24 uh, there's the social media there's a barcode if you want to scan that I really like the um, the colouring of the packaging of Tiny Hong Kong. Uh, really, really looks good. I do have quite a few Tiny Hong Kong now. Um, I, I don't really like 187. I find them a little bit small. But this was a new model and um, I thought I'll grab that. But yeah, I, I prefer, you know, a, the smallest I, I like is... Uh, probably 176. Better put that knife down. So yeah, look at a really neat packaging. It looks really inviting, you know. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I don't want to damage this packaging. Oh, it's very tight. How does it actually open? I know it's got flaps, but they're really tight. Is that the right side? Maybe I'll open this one. Here we go. <clears throat> Just try and get him out. Voila, voila. Yeah, like I said, normally 187 is a little bit too small for me, but I'm really into like Asian fire trucks at the moment. I can't get enough of them. So even though it's 187, I still got it. Uh, I'm just gonna take a glove off so I can pull out this plastic sleeve.
Okay. I like to, I like to wear these white cotton gloves because it sort of I don't get greasy fingers on the models. Because there's a lot of oil in your skin and it, it could affect the decals on the models. Plus I'm a gardener and my hands aren't, you know, hand model worthy, I guess you could say. Right, nice little model. Uh, tiny Hong Kong, don't do a lot of detail on the, on the undercarriage. Some very small writing there. Let me uh, let me just take the glove off again and uh, do a bit of zooming, so we can try and read that small print. Okay, let's try that. Wow, that is actually worse. Why isn't it focusing? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Okay, let me zoom out again. Well, that was a complete waste of 10 seconds. Uh, let's try the normal zoom. Yeah, I just can't read that. Uh, I think that says made in China. And that says... I don't know what that says. It says tiny toy toy car limited or something. Anyway, the, the wheels are a little bit crooked. I'm just going to straighten them up. They're not on the rims properly, eh? See that? They're all wonky. Usually tiny Hong Kong um, quality control is pretty good. That's... Um, yeah, that's a really wonky wheel. I'm not sure if the axle's actually bent or what, but not good. Um, so it doesn't really tell you much. So far, I'm a little bit disappointed. You got all these shutter doors. Um, you got a spray nozzle on top, which is nice. Uh, you got various tools and equipment, a few ladders. Two fifty one, the Mercedes logo. I think they're tiny little lensed headlights. Really tiny side mirrors, but they are quite solid. They're not likely to break off. Sort of molded to the window sill. It's a little bit of plastic there. Why is that plastic green? Okay. Yeah, I I was hoping to see some sort of fire department, you know, decal on it. Got a very small silver writing down there. But yeah, overall I'm a bit disappointed. Painted rear lights, um, little mud flaps with a like a chevron pattern on it. Big shutter door. Wheels are just average. Uh, let's have a look at the interior if we can. Yeah, there's a steering wheel on the right hand side. Um, it's sitting in the um, cabin. But this thing is tiny. Uh, there's the dashboard Whoop, down a bit. There you go. Yeah, but nothing to write home about really. Um, even the dashboard, sometimes they put little, um, like little fireman's helmets on them. This one doesn't have it. Uh, the light bar is okay, little red ones. Um, show you the scale. So this is, what did I say, it's 187. There's, the, uh, there's a 164 McLaren next to it. The wheels on the McLaren are almost the same size.
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what I um, I've, I've only paid. This is only about thirty six dollars or something delivered. So as fire trucks go, not that expensive. Um, yeah, I, I really wish it had more writing on it, more you know information what department it came from, what area of um, Hong Kong it came from. So yeah, not as good as I hoped for. Anyway, let's move along. There you can see the scale difference there. The, um, the 187, we're not sure what that is, are we? Could possibly, possibly be a 150, that. Yeah, but anyway, it is what it is. So let's um, move along. Stop yapping, Jim. Let's open the last one. If I knock a um, bit of packaging down and pick it up. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, a bit disappointed with this effort. Let's put the packaging in the back. So yeah, here's the final one. Now, I believe this is a model that I already have. Um, and the only reason I bought another one of it is because this one is absolutely mint in the box, hopefully. And we have a bit of a sneak peek to make sure it's the right one. Oh, it's inside another um, generic box. Let's throw it down here. So well, we've got a Jim Beam straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey bottle box. Jim Beam. Must have been a tiny little bottle. Like a mini bar bottle. Okay, stop yapping. Open it up. People are waiting. They haven't got all day, you know. Pretty securely packaged, I must say. Um, this one I actually found on um, Gumtree. I've told you this about Gumtree, an online selling platform in Australia. Um, there was this woman selling. A whole lot of Shinzo models. She had construction vehicles, fire trucks, cars, and yeah, I contacted her and I, um, I, um, I told her I collect fire trucks and I'm interested in this model, uh, which is lower price. And she actually told me she had two of these, and the one that was advertised wasn't mint. The box was damaged, but she said I've got another one with an. Uh, a pretty perfect box you know which it does look in great condition this box so yeah I've actually got this model let me put that up there let me put it down there yeah I've showed you this one previously in a in a video of mine um, where I bought this at an antique shop up up in the mountains and I paid $45 for it it's got a little bit of rust on the on the hubs uh, a little bit of wear and tear. The um, the chromes come off on this uh, spray nozzle and on that ladder. So yeah, I, f I was um, I was happy with this model because I found it in a really special place. But when this mint one came up, I thought I've got to have this. And just looking at it already, I can see a difference. This um, snorkel apparatus looks more creamy coloured. This one looks silver or grey. So let's get him out and compare the two. This box is mint. She wasn't lying. Oh yeah, I got this down to $50. Which, when you think that I didn't pay any um, postage, that's a bargain. Because I've seen these on eBay, these models in mint condition, for well over $100. Plus um, postage. So this is an absolute bargain for this um, quality of model. This is absolutely mint. Look at that. Possibly the first time it's been opened. I'm not sure. Ah, I can see another difference. It's got a tiny little...
find the little decal there. So let's get him out carefully. Right, yeah. Oh wow, this is sweet. And also, I can tell the interior is different too. It's blue. Oh man, this is great. Perfect. Yeah, this is mint. Absolutely. Wow. Let's see if the, all the appliance works properly. That swivels, a little small one moves. So, um, this goes up and down. Wow. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. This sort of makes up for the disappointment of that tiny Hong Kong Mercedes. All the chrome looks perfect. The decals are all there, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no damage on the paintwork. There's no rust on the hubs. Right, so let's um, let's do a comparison. That is sweet. Like I said, I'm really into these old vintage type of um, Japanese or Asian fire trucks. Alrighty, let's let's do a comparison. So you can see the snorkel appliance. Ah, and there's another difference. This one's got snorkel written on it. This old one. This one doesn't. And the colouring is different. This is like a cream colour. This is like a silvery grey colour. Um, besides the fact that this one's overall more shinier, everything's the same. Um, this one's missing a FD sticker on the door. This one's got it. Uh, there's another difference. This one's got chemical fire engine in gold. This one doesn't. This one's got chemical fire engine on a white decal with stripes. <coughs> Excuse me. Losing my voice a bit. So excited. Yeah, you can see the differences. Chemical fire engine in gold. And up the top there's two white stripes with chemical fire engine. And this one's got the snorkel decal on the appliance. This one doesn't. Ah. So interesting when you find like minor variations. It's like spot the difference. At the back they look pretty much the same. The bases, I think they're pretty much identical. Um, coming around to the fronts. So this is the old one on the right. Uh, you can see the wear and tear on the chrome on the bumpers and that. Ah, oh, actually, what am I saying? The interiors are the same. I could have sworn the interior of this was all silver. No, the interiors are the same. Oh. So there's only minor differences. Um, but yeah, this, this one is definitely mint. Definitely. Now my problem is, do I keep them both or do I sell this old one? Uh, yeah, I'll probably keep them both. Because this one I bought on a, it was like a, like a getaway with my wife. And I just happened to go into an antique shop and I found this one. So this one was $45, this one was $50 delivered. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to end up keeping them both. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. Right, so let's just compare it with a little McLaren. Um, these are 150, not 150. Oh, I did know the scale now, I've forgotten. And it doesn't have it on the base. Yeah, I think it's um, <clears throat> I think it was one seventy or some weird scale like that. Yeah, like I said before, it's really annoying when they don't put the scale on the 
on Neo models. So, all right, oh, man, I've already been going half an hour. I can't believe how quick the time goes. All right, let's um, wrap this video up. How's that look? Not too bad. So that's my new arrivals video, episode six. Hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Leave me a comment. Comment. Tell me which one was your favourite. Um, yeah, just communicate with me through the comments. Okay, this is Jim signing off from Red Trucks. Um, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.